hey, I'm here to tell you something really important about searching and finding records in the library so that you don't lose your work. Okay, so this, this information can save a life, pass it on. Okay, so here I have the results of a library one search search, okay? And oh, this, this article looks really interesting. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna think this is great. I, I wanna include this in my annotation in my final project. So what you're going to probably do, what you shouldn't do, is copy the URL or bookmark the URL up here in the URL bar. Don't do that. These URLs are time bombs. They will expire after 20 minutes and you will not be able to get back to this article and you're going to be very sad and frustrated. There are two things, two different ways you can save this article. A lot of you are used to opening up a Word doc or a Google doc, taking URL, pasting it into the Google doc, to save it for later. And again, do not do that with this URL. But if you want a URL that will always work and not expire, what you can do is choose the permalink. Now you have to be looking at the record to see this permalink option. You cannot be back on the results page where all your results came up. You have to be looking at one specific record, click on the title, come into the record page. But once you're here, you see all this stuff, you'll see this tools menu over here on the right. Click the permalink, the word permalink, it's next to a little link icon. And you'll notice what happened is a gray box appeared right above the title. This is the permalink or permanent link. This is what you wanna copy. This is what you wanna to use to save your article. Now, another thing you can do if you want is to email the article to yourself or email this record, you know, and we, ha we have the article, but what you'll do is you'll just email this record to yourself. You'll hit the email uh, link and it'll have you put your ISU email address or whatever email address you want. And then you'll have it in your email for later. I think it's easier to just collect all your links in one place, um, but that's an option. Some people use the save icon and create an account with EBSCO to save items to their folder. I think that's a little bit time consuming. Uh, now that we're here, I'll also point out that you can use the cite button to get a handy citation in your final annotations, your final project, you are going to require, uh, it is going to require you to include an APA citation. Now here's one, but I have another video this week that talks about how these are sometimes wrong. Okay, so just watch that video and watch out for these. They are sometimes wrong. So you're gonna have to double check them. And that's all I have to say about that. I may make a separate video about other places that you could get citations for free and easy for luck and profit. All right, talk to you guys soon.